So Lynn, can you tell us about the Mail Call Exhibition? Uh, the Mail Call Exhibition covers 200 years of history of military mail and that means how people have connected through the mail while they've been deploy personnel and uh, during wartime and it's that special connection that mail can bring to keep people in contact no matter where they are in the world and what circumstances they're under. The mail from a loved one means like, I don't know, just a piece of their heart and I don't know, it's, it's more meaningful like when it's handwritten as opposed to just an email or an e-card. When my friend was away at camp, we used to send each other decorated DVDs and we would like color it in, like like do different like designs with them. We'd send each other DVD back and forth of like our day and things like that. As far as my feelings, watching that video I could definitely relate. I spent uh, 22 years in the Navy. I've been deployed uh, four times in two different combat theaters. And so we would go away for six months at a time on board an aircraft carrier. My first deployment was in 1993, so there was no uh, computers on board the ship, there was no email. So the only way you had communication back home was with letters. I received letters from like, my grandmother sometimes for like holidays, but I never sent letters before. Once, like two years ago, I sent Disney an idea for an animated film I wanted them to make. Then they sent me a letter back and said they can't make it. It's like, um, mail is a very common form of communication when I was growing up. And I've mailed letters. I remember going to basic training back in the uh, early 80s. And mail was how I kept in touch with my friends all the time. Uh, many times, particularly in the Navy, you know, you'd pull away from the pier, you might be out at sea for 80, 90, 100 days before you could ever be back on land to make a phone call. Uh, that was your only form of communication. So. Um, yes, as a historian studying um, U.S. history, I related to a lot of the things that people were saying about events, and I related a lot um, because there's so much emotion in a lot of these letters, um, people connecting with family. If you really wanted to get something, uh, particularly from your wife, particularly from your children, those are things you really look forward to. And many times, you know, you would keep those letters stored away. By the time you were gone for six months, you might have 30, 40, 50 letters stacked up. You know, and you would go back and have certain ones you'd even reread. So. When I receive a piece of mail from a loved one, it I feel happy and makes me feel good to know that they took their time to sit and write something and actually send it to me, and it lets me know that they actually care and they took the time to do it. Well, the mail call exhibition has lots of examples of personal self-expression in it through the letters and postcards that people have created. Um, one piece that I think says a lot about love is a coconut that a service member during World War II sent home to his wife. I think mail in general is art because you can do, because the design of the stamp, the way you write, whether it's cursive or print or things like that, or like the design of the envelope is art, like whichever. Well, I look at stamp. The, the details in the stamp and the time it takes to create that artwork is definitely something to look at. I used to collect stamps uh, years ago and it's, it's one of the easiest ways to get involved in the art world is collecting stamps. The postage stamps can also be forms of art. Yes, it gives it value. The handwritten letter has far more value than email to me. Um, it shows more, more time, more consideration. Um, it's much more personal. As far as the importance of letters, it was, it was very important uh, to maintain your, your morale and, and your sanity 